Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we'll dive into the world of sketching and rendering, bringing your artwork to life with texture and detail. I'll be sharing my favorite techniques using the four brushes that I have modified to suit my style. Check out the modification details at the end of the video. So let's get started. When starting an artwork on your mobile device, it's essential to plan your composition. First, mark the lines to determine the size of your illustration. The top line marks the space for the head, while the space below the second line is for the body. By setting these guidelines, you'll get a clear idea of how to structure your illustration. Now, add a circle for the head, making sure it's within the top guideline. Next, draw a simple shape for the body. And don't forget to add a simple shape for the tail. Notice how the circle for the head is slightly tilted, facing upward. Also see how the body extends beyond the head with the back part ending further out and the front part is starting just below the head. Now add simple shapes for ears. Now let's add rough details to the illustration. The canvas is zoomed in just enough to see the elements in relation to each other so that we can see what's going on. At this stage, don't worry about refined details. We are just getting the feel for how everything fits together. This is our playground where we can erase and experiment without worrying about messing up. Let's get the base right and this foundation will ultimately lead to a flawless final piece. When adding rough details, remember that things might not follow the guidelines perfectly. That's okay, guidelines are meant to provide a rough idea, not a strict rule book. Feel free to make adjustments and deviate from the plan if it helps bring your illustration to life. If you think the rough details are getting too complicated, simplify them. For example, instead of drawing individual forest strands, a simple line can do the trick. Keep it basic and focus on capturing the overall shape. Once you are happy with how it looks, now it's time to refine the details. You can download this sketch to directly use it or you can use it as a guideline. Let's add base color to our sketch. This is our sketch. Navigate to sketch layer, reduce its opacity, add a layer and arrange it below. First, let's change the background color, navigate to the layer panel, go to the color and select the first color from the color panel and the color is changed. Now select the black color from the color palette and from the brushes select solid fill from fills folder. Now we are creating a sharp silhouette using solid fill and boom, it's done. I have removed the boring coloring part and kept it concise. Next add another layer and apply clipping mask to it. Select the third color from the color palette and add it to some parts of CAD as you can see here. Add one more layer, select orangish color from the color palette and add it to ear and the color. Now select yellowish color from the color palette and add it to eyes on same layer. Add one more layer, release its clipping mask. Next select Proco Pencil from Pencils folder for adding the intricate details. Use Proco Pencil for adding the mustaches to cat. Add few individual hair using Proco Pencil. Use reddish color to outline the mouth. And use solid fill to add highlight to eyes. We are done with base colors and fine detail. Now we're gonna add fur to this cat. For this, add a new layer and arrange it below. Now select Modified Old Oil from Paints folder. First, long press to pick the color. Now, let's give our cat some fur. We will add a strokes of old oil brush at the edges so that it will give a sense of fur. The soft hairy edges of the brush will create a textured look. Don't just add a strokes in one direction, use them in different directions to create a clear pattern of fur. Long press to pick the dark color. Now we're going to add dark fur to the cat. 
When you use this brush, adding fur becomes surprisingly easy. Just apply it and it will give the edges a soft natural appearance. Follow the cat's fur pattern based on its structure and you will get great results. Add the fur in a way that makes the cat look adorable and sweet, not spiky or scary. Adjust the brush size according to your needs. Use a larger brush for covering big areas and a smaller one for more detailed work. Customize it to fit your workflow and style. If some strokes go outside the artwork, you can always remove the excess letter. Just focus on getting the overall effect right. Now switch to a, now switch to a smaller brush size. Now switch to a smaller brush size to add individual stray hair. This will give your fur more realistic and detailed look and adding texture and interest to your artwork. Now let's add fur texture to the body, adjusting the brush size to suit the specific areas of body. As we add fur, it's essential to follow the underlying structure of cat. This will ensure that the fur flows naturally and cohesively. You'll start to see the cat come to life as the fur takes shape. With each stroke, you will add depth and dimension to your artwork. Add fur to the paws to give it a soft appearance. And we are done with fur. The next step is to add texture to make it more stylized. For this, add a new layer. Select a Scribble Scrabble from Mist folder. Select a reddish color first. Use its small size to add texture to ear of cat. Don't worry if the brush strokes overlap fur a bit. It's okay. It's all a part of charm. Just keep it from getting too out of hand. Add texture to the bell and let some fur stray outside the boundaries. This will give our illustration a stylized textured look. One more thing, pick adjacent color to blend the texture seamlessly. This will help cancel out any harshness and create a smooth natural transition between fur and the surrounding areas. Add texture to nose carefully, removing any excess. And when you add a stroke, let the texture extend slightly beyond the boundary, especially on the upper side. Then pick a different color and blend it with a texture for smooth transitions. Now we would use gradient texture transition. Okay, so for this, long press to pick this orangish color and use the brush strokes to add this orangish color to the lower side of the eyes. Use it to add texture to the other eye. Okay, now shift the hue to a warmer shade for a gradient effect and use this color to blend with the previous color texture for a smooth transition. Again, shift the color to more warmer shade and use this color texture to blend with the previous color for a smooth transition. Now long press to pick the original eye color and use this color texture to blend with the previous all color texture for a very smooth transition. Now long press to pick this soft color and from the color wheel shift this color toward more pinkish. Now add this pinkish texture to the parts where they need depth. Now pick adjacent color to blend with previous color texture to remove any harshness. Use pinkish color to add blush to cheeks. Make this color more saturated and use this saturated color to make pinkish areas more darker and prominent.
Select Coarse Pencil from Pencils Border. Select this color from the color palette. Now we are going to highlight the dark parts of cat. I have reduced the opacity of black color so that I can see the lines of a sketch. Use solid fill to add color to ear. And now use coarse pencil to define some of the dark cards. And finally, we are done. You can create this masterpiece using your mobile, no need of iPad. Like, share, and subscribe. Select all oil from paints folder, go to its settings, and then increase the smoothness to about 60. Scroll down and you'll see two graphs. Tap both size and flow graphs. Tap size graph and adjust it the way it shows. Navigate to head section, change the head of this brush, scroll down and select this image. Scroll down and set the spacing to about 15%. Scroll down and toggle off stylus rotation. Scroll down further and enable these pressure and velocity graph. Navigate to texture section. Increase depth to about 80%. Decrease texture scale to about 15% and save the settings. Next, select Croker Pencil, go to its settings and set its smoothness to about 50% or 47%. Then scroll down and then you'll see two graphs. Tap Size Graph and set the size graph the way it shows and then save the setting. Next, select Coarse Pencil from Pencils folder. Go to its settings and set its smoothness to about 18% or 20%. Then scroll down, you'll see graphs, tap size graph, and then set the size graph the way it shows. Then save settings, and our brushes are modified.